once again it came, didn't it? Loughton bursting forward, being more adventurous. Here's Quinn, right on the shoulder of Ash and takes it early. Starting to feel it now. Now they're pushing. Maybe, just maybe. Taking the handbrake off. Bosswick. Given the way this tie's gone, both first leg and here, now chances have been at a premium. One will win it. I don't think it's an over-exaggeration to say that. No, I don't think so. And Sheffield United slowly but surely attempts creeping up. That all-important goal eludes them, even though Stevenage have had less. They've hit the target as many times as Sheffield United. Having the target, something that eludes Boswick by some margin there. Looks ambitious, he has got a good right foot on him. It's his best goal-scoring season as well. Stevenage's player of the year. Senior chasing down. Porter, Quinn, Williamson to his right, trying to work it onto his left, but they're wise to that, Stevenage, chance, goal! Six minutes from time, Sheffield United get the breakthrough, and that could just be enough to take them to Wembley. Well, where did the cross come from? Where was it put? It was perfect. More adventure, more ambition, and finally, a quality cross. And when you get quality crosses in like this, you can reap the rewards. And Matt Loughton just helps that beautifully into the danger area. A striker like Chris Porter, these are the kinds of crosses he dreams about. He's not going to let him down, he's not going to disappoint. He attacks it well, and he buries it. And at last, at last, Sheffield United... They've got their noses in front in this tie. The emotions of the playoffs. <laughs> Stevenage must score. Or Sheffield United are heading to Wembley. It's as simple as that. What a five minutes we've got in prospect here. Laurie Wilson blazing wide. Oh, they need to stay calm. They need to stay calm. What they've done is they've pushed Mark Roberts up front now, the big centre-half. They're going to make another change as well to add to that. Another striker, Craig Reid, who started the first leg, sacrificed in the change of formation in this. Sheffield United, who have never beaten Stevenage in all the meetings they've had, all of them coming this season, this the fourth. It looks like they have timed it perfectly. A late goal in the last meeting of the season. Williamson couldn't keep it in. Off comes Parra, holding midfielder. On comes Craig Reed, centre forward. It's three at the back and three up now for Stevenage. And three and a half minutes to play at Bramall Lane. Roberts header. Strong challenge, typical Montgomery challenge. And what they don't want to do, Sheffield United, is just give the ball back to Stevenage and allow them to do things like this. And by Beardsley. Eased out of the way by Maguire, who I think thought it was yeah, going to be a goal kick, didn't he? He did indeed. He was really, really confident that that ball had come off a Stevenage player, and he actually allowed it to go out, thinking he was getting a goal kick. Freeman wanted to uh, 
Use a short corner, it's whipped in with pace. Decent defending. Mussinho, another good delivery. And had a straight at Steve Simonson off the substitute. Well, that's what they've got to do now. From all over the pitch, they've got a big lad up front. They've got to look to get that ball into that penalty area. Desperate needs call for desperate measures. And there's desperation all over the place, isn't there? And varying degrees. Roberts the target. Collins rose highest. Quinn. Porter. His first goal in 17 matches. Oh, what a moment to get it as well. He had an opportunity early in the game, didn't he? Oh, my word. The cross made it, it really did. The red side of Sheffield will be toasting Porter's head tonight. Oh, they were starting to believe, weren't they? And it could be their night. And now the atmosphere in that end of the ground, distinctly different to what it was a few short moments ago. Porter. Freeman with the challenge. Massinho. Wilson. Roberts. And Beardsley going for the ball, but I think he got more of Williamson, who landed awkwardly. away aren't they so so close on a trip to Wembley and the season that has had more highs than lows for Sheffield United had all the hallmarks that it was going to end in pain it's still might of course at Wembley but at least they look like they're going to have their day out under the arch or are they goal kick three added minutes Long gap as well, Don, between the semi-finals and the final. Yep. Chance to patch up walking wounded, to get everyone fresh, give them even a little bit of a break before yeah. focusing on the big day out against either Huddersfield or MK Dons. Absolutely right, yeah. They have to get that part of it right as well, that balance right between rest and work and keeping the players sharp. And they feel, if they do see this one through Sheffield United, that they put the ghost of... Missing out on automatic promotion to rest. Well, the other Stephen is centre half is now playing as another centre forward. Now John Ashton is up there. <laughs> it's aerial bombardment. They just need to hold firm, which is exactly one of the strengths of young Harry Maguire. Well, and him and Neil Collins alongside, they have got two big lads that will expect to deal with this aerial bombardment. Porter's back there. LaSalle swung a boot at it. Still trying to keep it alive. And Matt Hill looking to prevent the corner, doing so. Clattering into the flag, then the linesman on the far side. Linesman doesn't know what's happened there because he was down. That's the referee seeing. Well, it's been given to Stevenage in the last minute of the added three. Can they keep their season alive? Take this one to extra time. 
There's Massinho. Oh, found a way through. Like none of the men in blue shirts were expecting it. Danny Wilson's fuming over something. He can't get a substitute on. The ball's been out twice. I think since the substitute been ready, obviously wants to eat the time at might be so. Well, Porter, much maligned at times this season. Second string for much of it. The goals have eluded him in 2012. Well, again, Danny Wilson is raging because the fourth official has not allowed him to get a substitute on. Has to bring that to the attention of the referee. And he wants to send on the young Irish midfielder, David McAllister. We're into the fourth added minute. They're almost there, they are there! Sheffield United will contest the League One playoff final. A season which ended in disappointment, missing out on automatic promotion, has life in it yet. They may yet return to the championship at the first time of asking. And scenes of jubilation as the fans spill onto the field from the cup. A tight, tense semi-final. Absolutely nothing between them in the first leg. Precious little between them in the second on. But Chris Porter's header right at the death. And there was no way back for Plucky Stevenage. No, and Plucky is right. Let's give them plaudits. They've just had the best season in the history of their football club, Stevenage. They will be devastated at this moment in time. But they'll reflect on what has been a fantastic effort. But Chris Porter, right player at the right time benefited from one of the rare pieces of quality that we saw over the two legs a quality cross that he was able to attack and they will celebrate and then they'll hope they are one step away from getting themselves back into the Empower Championship but my word they've done it the hard way and the Sheffield United have never won promotion by a playoff campaign they're going to Wembley for the fourth time to try and do that. Danny Wilson has never been promoted by the playoffs. This is his fourth try. That is still alive for them. And the negativity of two months before the end of the season, having automatic promotion in their grasp, seeing it slip through their fingers because of that awesome run of their neighbours. Well, they may yet join them in the second tier next season. They've won it late on, one goal enough, and Chris Porter provided it. In the end, it took 175 minutes to separate these two teams. Chris Porter certainly had been amongst the goals in the lead-up to this. It was his first in 17. But what a time to deliver. And those Blaze fans won't mind the fact they've had to wait an awful long time for this tie to be decided. And for the fourth time, they're heading to a playoff final. For Stevenage, in the end, not quite enough ambition on the night. It has been, in truth, though, a terrific season from them as the Sheffield United players are absolutely mobbed and squeeze their way into that tunnel. Peter Beagree alongside me. And, Peter, you have to say, given that second half especially, the right team heading through. Yeah, I think uh, Sheffield United thoroughly deserve it. Um, you know, it, it's right and proper that we pay a tribute to, to Stevenage to actually be in this position after two consecutive... Um, Promotions, absolutely magnificent. Fans, sensational as far as they're concerned. And the players, just a little bit short, Simon. You would expect that with a club of the stature and the history of Sheffield United, not too long out of the Premier League and the Championship. And fantastic achievement, really. Danny Wilson <laughs> overturned the negativity coming across the city. And they've been singing his name at the end there. And you get your reward in the end. And, and no better example of that is Chris Porter carrying carried the team tonight, the lone threat up front with Quinn working behind him and got his rewards with that all-important goal. So Sheffield United and their fans know they can now book their tickets to Wembley a week on Saturday, but who will be their opponents at Wembley on that day? We'll find out tomorrow. Huddersfield in absolute pole position against the MK Dons. They lead by two goals to nil from that first leg. We're underway once again, 7.30, Sky Sports 1 HD. And then it is the League One playoff final. Huddersfield or the MK Dons will take on Sheffield United from 2.30, Saturday, May the 26th. We're underway.
from 2.30 Sky Sports 2 HD. Well, at the end of the regular season, 17 points separated these two sides. It took 175 minutes in the end to separate them over two legs. But the Blades are heading to Wembley. Plenty more to come from Peter.